When it comes to real estate on Staten Island, you would think that you've heard and seen it all. Ha, huh? think again. As the housing mania reignites, this hidden gem is bustling with secrets, surprises, and stories you won't believe. I'm so happy that you've landed here with me as I talk about the most jaw-dropping trends of this iconic borough. Hold on to your heads, folks, because the housing mania is back deep into the heart of our little Staten Island here. A quick glance though first nationally. Existing home sales have plumped to a seven month low. Why do you ask? Borrowing costs, rising sale prices, and that old story about limited inventory. The mortgage rates, oh, they've been playing hard to get, staying above 7% since the mid August. Home sales are down 0.7% a whopping 15.3% year over year. But here's the twist. Home prices though, they're still soaring. What? What's the point, right? Now let's hone in on the gem that is Staten Island. Our story here is kind of wild. The new listings, they are down 21.6% to a mere 384 available options. The pending sales, also took a hit, decreasing 5.8%. And wait a minute, there's a lot more surprises here. The inventory levels plunged 35.7% to 1,224 units. This is everything you have to choose from if you're going to buy a house here on Staten Island. Yet, the median sale price, it inched up 1% to a handsome or ugly number of 686,000. And homes, they're soaking up a bit more sun. Well, not sun, maybe rain, with an increased stay on the market up by 23.5% to 68 days. But here's where it gets juicy. Even with the national slump, prices continue their upward journey. Lack of inventory, ignited bidding wars, with some homes fetching prices way above their ask price. As of September, here's 1.1 million units were up for grabs nationwide. That's 14.1% less than last year. And that's a lot, my friends, let that sink in. And the US median sale price, they are climbing by 3.9% year over year to a staggering 407,000. All right, it's time for the main event. We're here for Staten Island. So looking into the localized housing detail, covering every nook and cranny of Staten Island from the North Shore to the South Shore to the Mid Island to the East Shore and the West Shore. If you're as obsessed with real estate as I am, you don't want to miss this. Starting with the East Shore, which encompasses areas like Arakar and South Beach, We've seen a decrease in new listings by 3.3% and a decline in closed sales by nearly 24.7%. But the median sale price, that's risen by 3.5%. Now, registering at 705,000, this is nuts, a hike from the previous 680,000. Moving on to the gateway, here we have areas like New Dorp and Oakwood and Great Kills, among the others. The listings have decreased by 12.7% and the closed sales decreased by 19.9%. And the median sale price, it went down by 4.1% to 670,000 from 699,000. Up next is Greater St. George, covering areas from Fort Wadsworth to Grimes Hills and St. George, of course a significant decrease in listings by 21.4% and close sales by 11.6% and a massive 10% decline in median sale price, bringing it down to 537,000 from 597,000. Can you see why I'm always reminding you that the housing market is so hyper local and you must pay close attention to the housing trends in your neighborhood, whether you're buying or selling. The picture is very clear. Let's look into Heartland, the central pulse of Staten Island. Heartland has witnessed a decrease in both 
new listings and closed sales of 22.5% and 24.5%, respectively. Median sale price slipped to 2.2%, coming at $655,000 from $670,000. And here's where things take a turn. The North Shore areas from New Brighton to Elm Park saw a 28.9% decrease in listings, but an increase in median sale price by 7.8%. That's right. Prices jumped to $555,000 from $515,000. What the heck? Ah, the South Shore, always full of surprises. Areas like Roseville and Huguenot saw a decline in listings by 13% and close sales by 18.4%. The median sale price? Check this out, guys. A decrease of 2.7%, placing it at 725000 down from 745000 Wow, so many ups and downs. Now brace yourselves for the hills. The looks neighborhoods like Todd Hill and Emerson Hill. What do you think happened there? Listings have taken a hit by 17.1% and closed sales by a massive 33.9%. The median sale price dropped 4.3% to 880,000 from a staggering 920,000. Are you ready for the lakes yet? Areas like Westerly and Sunnyside, are you ready for this? The listings decreased by 23.1% and the close sales by 22.1%. But the median sale price? Wow, it's on the rise, folks. They are up 3.5%, making it at $730,000 from $705,000. Are you getting Staten Island vibes buzzing in your ears yet and dreams of dope digs dancing in your head? Mash that subscribe button, dive in with me, and let's ride the wild wave of real estate on Staten Island together. Don't miss out. Be the first to get the scoop on the hottest spots in town. And hey, bring your friends along for the ride. Catch you in the next jaw-dropping video. See you there.